Hi there, today we're going to practice adding hundreds. So if we have a number in the hundreds, say 342, there are three digits. And let's review the value or place value of each one of these numbers. So the two here is the same as two ones. And the four here is the same as four tens. And then the three here is the same as three hundreds. So if we actually break this number apart, it's really 300 plus 40, because 4 tens is 40, plus 2. So we're adding up numbers. Make sure we're adding up the ones, the tens, and the hundreds. So let's add a number together. So let's start with a three-digit number. Let's say 300. And we decide to add 400 to that number. I want you to observe that there's nothing in the ones, there's nothing in the tens, only in the hundreds. Same here, in the ones and the tens, there's nothing, it's zero, only in the hundreds. So if we bring these down and add them, zero plus zero is zero, zero plus zero in the tens is zero, four hundreds plus three hundreds, it's the same as adding four plus three, you're just in the hundreds value, is seven. So you have a sum of 700. Now, what would happen though if we don't have all zeros in the ones and the tens? Let's find out. Now we're going to change that number up. Now we have 342 plus 476. We start with the ones, and we always start with the ones here. So if we add the ones, six ones plus two ones, that would equal eight ones. Now if we look here at the tens, we have seven tens plus four tens. Now four plus seven is 11. Now here's a rule you need to remember. Whether you're adding in the ones, the tens, or the hundreds, if it's over nine, that's more than nine, more than nine, you must carry or you must regroup. So we have 11 here. So we're going to take that one from the 11 tens, we're going to put that here. But that extra 10 is going to come up here into the hundreds. So now we have plus one more hundred, because 10 tens is 100. So now we go about adding our hundreds. So we have 400 plus 300 is 700 plus one more hundred is 800. So our total value, our sum, is 818. So remember this rule. Whenever there is more than nine, whether it's in the ones, in the tens, the hundreds, and so on, you have to carry. You have to regroup and give one away and keep your other number here. Keep your either your one or your tens. Let's try another. I would like you to add 700 plus 200. What do we first add? That's right, we add the ones. If you got 900, pat yourself on the back. We have no ones, so that's still a zero. No tens, zero. Seven hundreds plus two hundreds, nine hundreds, for a sum of nine hundred as your total. Nice work. Let's try this one. Five hundred sixty-seven plus three hundred forty-eight. We start with the ones. So we add 7 plus 8. Now, remember, if it's over 9, if it's more than 9, you got to regroup. So 7 and 8 is 15. So we put our 5 down, 
and we're going to regroup that. 7 plus 8, 15. 5 went down here. Our 10 has to come up here. So we have plus 1 here. Now we add up these 10s. 6 plus 1 is 7. Plus 4 more is 11 tens. Uh-oh, got to do it again. Leave that 1. Plus 1 up in the 100. Add those up. 5 plus 1 is 6. Plus 3 more. 9 hundreds for a sum of 915. If you got 915, pat yourself on the back. Great job. To review, let's do a word problem together. Eric has 324 stickers and Lisa has 237 stickers. How many stickers do they have together? So Eric has 324, Lisa has 237. Let's uh, add those up. 324 plus 237. What's my first step? That's right, I'm going to add the 1's. So 7 plus 4 equals what? That's right, it equals 11. So remember, we have more than 9, we have to carry. Keep our 1 there, add our 10. 2 10's plus 1 10 is 3 10's, plus 3 more. Total of what? That's right, 6 10's. Now, we don't have more than 9, so we just leave that 6 there, add our hundreds. 3 hundreds plus 2 hundreds is 5 hundreds for a sum of 561. They have 561 stickers together. Today you've been practicing adding hundreds. Always start with the ones, then the tens, then the hundreds. Check to see if you have more than 9 when you add up your sum. If you have more than 9 in the 1's, you must carry to the 10's. If you have more than 9 10's, you must carry over to the 100's. Great job. Keep practicing adding 100's. Can't wait to talk to you more about math soon.